I have been using a SodaStream sparkling water maker for a few years now. At least here in Germany, tap water meets higher quality standards than bottled drinking water. The gas bottles from a SodaStream have a capacity of 422 grams and are also quite expensive in relation to this quantity at around 8 euro per filling. So it was time to switch to a large gas bottle. 10 kilograms of CO2 gas food grade costs 27 euros in our Home Depot market. For comparison, if this is the content of a normal soda stream bottle, then this column corresponds to the content of a 10 kilo bottle. The small bottle costs 8 euros, which corresponds to 19 euros per kilo. The large bottle costs 27 euros and thus less than 3 euros per kilo. So per kilo, the small bottles are about 7 times more expensive. In addition, you have to pay the deposit for the large gas bottle and you need an adapter so that the gas bottle can be connected to the SodaStream device. This is available for around 28 euros. The German gas bottles have a W21.8 by 14 connection. On the other side there is a quick connector that is connected to the SodaStream compatible adapter. Installation is quite simple. Screw the adapter into the SodaStream device, click in the hose, connect the other side to the gas bottle and tighten it, but please don't overdo it. And the first test run can begin. First open the gas bottle. By the way, you need a bottle that is used upright for gas extraction. There are also bottles with siphons that are intended for liquid CO2 extraction. As you can see, the sparkling of the body works in the same way as with the small gas bottles. With that, the main steps have been completed. Of course, I don't want to see the huge gas bottle in my kitchen, so I drilled a 20mm diameter hole in my workshop and put the hose through from below. There was an unused corner in the cupboard below which was perfect. To prevent the SodaStream device from slipping too much on the table, I designed a holder from my 3D printer that essentially holds itself in the drill hole and is glued in place with blue tuck in the front area. You can download the 3D model of the bracket on my Thingiverse profile, you will find the link in the video description. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked the video. With this, the appliance is now stable in its permanent place and I won't have to worry about a new gas bottle for a very long time. This brings me to the end of my video. Have fun with tinkering and see you next time.